There we go. I am so excited to be with you here live today. There we go. I think we're all connected. I think that's good. Well, welcome everybody. My name is Noreen Smith. I'm the PD Creative Manager at Creative Memories, and it's my pleasure to be with you every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Central Time. Last week, of course, I was not with you live. I was at home office in Sauk Rapids, Minnesota, along with the home office staff and the dream team. So we were having a great time together. Some of you saw the photos of the, uh, of the trip that I posted once I got back. Uh, it was just a great, great pleasure to be there. And there we go. We've got some gals joining us. We've got our gals from Australia, North Carolina, Illinois. Good morning from Australia. Good afternoon and good evening to uh, to everybody else in the uh, in the North American hemisphere there. Uh, hi, everybody. Hi, Terry. It's good to see you. Victoria, Michelle's here. Donna, Ellen. Hi, Ellen. Good to see you from coming to us from New Mexico. There's Judy from Boston. Uh, we've got some other folks from Australia, from Brisbane. There's someone from Icy, Texas. Yes, I understand you guys are having some cold. And Shirley's here from Ohio. It's so good to be back with you. And you don't need to see my name there for the longest time. Uh, I missed you guys last week. So it was fun to, to do that little Serenity uh, video for you and post it. But I'm happy to be back with you live. And today we're going to get laser focused. I mentioned that in the video last week that we are going to laser focus. And now that many of you have seen the collection that launched on Monday, now you kind of know what I'm talking about. We're going to be working with the Scrap Happy 2 collection today specifically the laser pages or laser papers. So we're going to have lots of fun with that. Hello, everyone. There's, De yeah, Debbie from Grass Valley, California. We've got Illinois, Virginia, uh, Casey. I think that might be Kansas City. Yeah, uh, I see some hand waving, um, <laughs> hand waving emojis, too. So hello, everyone. Okay, well, we've got a jam-packed episode today because not only do I want to, you know, share a little bit about the Scrap Happy Collection uh, and talk about specifically the laser pages, but I do have a little bit of uh, info that I want to share about Secret Box with you. Um, so I want to talk about that at the end, so make sure to stay tuned so that you hear what's happening with the Secret Box. And if you haven't already purchased your Secret Box yet, that may help you make a decision about it. And then we'll finish off by telling you what's happening for next week, okay? All right. There's Melissa from Oregon. Someone's joining us from Kentucky. There's Melissa Ullman. Hello, my dear. There's Elise uh, from North Carolina. And Massachusetts is joining us as well. Okay. So welcome to everybody. Let's go ahead and I'm going to switch you over to my desktop there. And we've got the fun and fabulous Scrap Happy 2. Now, if you're familiar with CM, uh, back in 2018, we released Scrap Happy Collection, which was all blues, just the CM blues. But this one has, of course, the CM blue, plus a lot of other great colors that are going to coordinate with your Totally Tonals. It's going to coordinate with the Scrap Happy Collection if you still have some in your stash. I do not. I think I used all of mine. It's going to coordinate with Polar Lights. It's going to coordinate with some Serene Waters. So this is a great collection, whether you are planning on using it uh, specifically for scrapbooking or not. If you're a CM advisor, I know everybody was really, really excited to see the uh, Shutter albums come back and I know many of us want to document you know our our time with customers our time with fellow advisors our time at home office for example in this beautiful album so this is a big collection we've got the designer paper pack and again on the front side of most of the papers you've got images that are related to scrapbooking there's our little you know shutter um album right there you know punches tape runners our border maker system the 12 inch trimmer all good stuff there's uh, all those multicolored tape runners the shutters there's oh 
we polled advisors as to what kind of sayings they might want to see. So there's a bunch of great sayings. I saw that Melissa Allman was on here. This is what she always says, foam squares for the win. So great sayings and all of the sort of scrapbook and CM related imagery on the front. But then on the back, you've got these great tonal pages that are going to work for so, so many other things. And that's what I mean about, uh, you know, you can, even if you're only making a few pages that are going to be scrapbook related, you've got all those beautiful papers to work with on the back. So that's the designer paper pack. I'll leave the laser paper pack, but you can see that there's three beautiful designs. So we're gonna come back to that. And then the foiled accent paper. And this is fun because again, one side of each of the six pages or papers has the foil on them. Isn't that fun? I hope, th I don't know if the camera's gonna catch that sparkle. There it is, just a little bit. So one side has the uh, foil and then the back side has similar designs, but with just the, uh, just the tonal papers. So great, great collections. Matte cards, of course, and again, lots of scrapbook related sayings. Yeah, that's me. I'm not a craft hoarder. I just need a bigger craft room. <laughs> Great embellishments. Look at that. Memories. These are foiled. So they're going to be gorgeous. There's Scrappy, our little bear, virtual crop. We've got a virtual crop coming up in a couple weeks. So that'll be a fun one to use. Launch day. All great things related to creative memories being a Creative Memories Advisor, being a scrapbooker, community, sisterhood, all of those things. And then the stickers, as I mentioned. And I just, I really love how we've got the colors in there, not just all blue. Like, isn't that border fantastic with all our fabulous CM tools? So it's a great collection. So I'm just gonna kind of gather some of this up. I did punch a couple of borders just so you could see the tools that came out with the collection. You've got the double Rick Rack chain BMC that gives you two pieces of Rick Rack. And who doesn't love, sorry, I should hold that up there. Who doesn't love uh, the scissor border? Isn't that fun? I just think that is the cutest thing. And again, if you have other craft, craft passions like sewing or quilting, um, you know, you're going to find uses for those as well. But let's put some of these aside for now. We'll probably come back to them a little bit later on after we make our layout. A little embellishing is what we'll need at that point. And let's talk about the Scrap Happy Laser Paper Pack. Now, I get asked this a lot. You know, they're, they're a little bit more expensive. Why would I use them? What's special about them? That kind of thing. I want you to think about these laser pack papers like a bagged salad. So you're going to the grocery store. You could buy the head of lettuce that's just, you know, re ready to go over there. It's, you know, you're gonna take it home. You're gonna wash it up. You're gonna chop it up. You're gonna use it for your salad, but you have to do things to it, right? Or you can, you know, for a little bit more, you can buy a bagged salad. It is ready to go. It's gonna make your life easier. It's gonna make supper time go a lot smoother. Laser papers are the bagged salad of scrapbooking. I tell you, they are going to be uh, so fast and easy to use. They're going to make your pages look fabulous. And you're going to get that little sort of extra, maybe that if you didn't do it yourself. Now, many of us have crickets and silhouettes. And that idea, um, you know, it, or that's sort of part of the idea of the laser pages. Because you get these beautiful cut out designs that you could probably not do by hand. You could do them if you had a machine, but you can't do them by hand. You know, to make something like this, it's going to take a heck of a lot of time. So you're saving time, but you're getting that extra special thing. You're not going to use this for every page. You're going to use these for your special pages. Okay. And then of course, we've got this one. And not only does it have that beautiful border around the edges, but it's a little bit thicker as well. So it's a heavier uh, weight cardstock. Now, you probably saw when I just moved those out of the way that you also get some versatility with these. 
So you don't just have to use the blue, although that's what I'm going to focus on today because I'm focusing on CM blue, but you can flip them over. You can get different colorways. Okay, look, isn't that orange fun? So that's going to increase where you can use them. And truly, they are one and done. So I could put this down. I could use this as a page, put my photos on here, and be done. And remember a few weeks ago when we talked about Fast to Fab and I showed you, uh, you know, make a little DIY template? I mean, you could, you know, just take some of your photos. Maybe you're going to do a six by four down here and some of your fun embellishments, right? And you're going to have a great page that has so much detail to it that you didn't have to do. So I want you to remember that they're kind of like bagged salads. They're going to make your life so much easier and they are worth the couple of extra dollars that you're going to pay for them. Now, having said that, because they are a little bit more expensive, we want to protect them, we want to take care of them, and we want to stretch them as far as we can. So, I have a couple of examples here. Uh, we talked organization a few weeks back. Sorry, just grabbing these. So, I want to just reiterate a couple of things to you. So, the laser papers come in, um, they're not shrink wrapped, but they have the little... Um, it's a tightly wrapped bag and it's got the flat folder. I don't know about you, but once I take them out of this style of bag, I always have trouble getting it back in without the adhesive, um, you know, touching everything. So I like to store them either in another plastic bag, like with my paper, uh, or now that we have a few other options, there might be an option that you like to use to protect and store and organize. So we talked about the new Power Simple sleeves, and I should mention that the cardstock that the laser paper is packed with is a little bit more firm. So you could definitely just take that nice solid paper, and then stack your two more delicately cut ones, place the cover set back on it, and then you could put it in your simple, your power simple sleeve. Okay, and that would keep them together and protect them. What I like even just a little bit better is to use one of the fill and file pages. And these are double sided envelopes that you can sort and store your different products in. So I find that these go in very nicely. Watch, now that I'm doing it on camera, it won't go in, but I find that they go in pretty easily. And then because these have the holes in them, of course you could put them into your sort and stash binder. You could keep you know, all of your, um, your templates, all of your laser cut pages together, and then you could you know, label it on the side, this is my laser cut binder. For example. So you could do that or you could also take these out and you could add this single fill and file sleeve to a power project folder or keep it in uh, your organizational um, inserts, the pods, that kind of thing. But really this keeps your laser, protect, uh, your laser papers protected. So you want to make sure that you are protecting what you did spend, you know, a few extra dollars on. All right. So I'm going to pull this out, but just as a bit of an aside, that's a good thing to consider in terms of protecting them. Okay, so let's talk about using them now. So as I mentioned, this one, for example, you don't have to put any other paper behind it. It does look great if you place it on top of, you know, a contrasting cardstock. You really start to see all of the little designs, but you don't have to do that. What I would like to show you and, and get you to consider is that you don't even have to use it as it is. We're going to actually cut this one up and I'm going to show you how to stretch it onto a two page layout. And then we're going to come back and I'm going to talk about using these type of um, laser pages. And we're going to experiment with putting some photos in them. So let's talk about this one. I'm just going to grab a couple of pieces of white cardstock from behind me there. 
I can oh, use these just as a base page to kind of show you the idea. What I thought I would do as I started to look at this, I thought it'd be really cool to have a border just of all of these little um, shutters. So I'm going to cut the top border and the bottom border off to use on two sides of a layout. And then I'm actually going to cut the rest of that paper in half and I'll show you how I plan on putting it on my page. So I'm going to try to cut between these two shutters. I'm going to line that up onto my 12 inch trimmer so that the cut line is right between those shutters. Make sure it's the same at the bottom. Sorry, I just moved it just a little bit there. There we go. All right, and so now I have a great border that I can use on my page. Let's do it on the other side as well. Again, just take that extra minute to make sure you're all lined up. All right, so that gives me two borders. Oops, and I didn't press quite firmly enough. It is quite thick. It's thicker than our regular cardstock. There we go. All right, so that leaves me with these two pieces with a border at the top and a border at the bottom. And I thought if I just go ahead and cut this in half, cut it at six inches, that's gonna give me some nice papers to work with. So just a couple of cuts and we're gonna have a really fast layout. So I think I said last week that we were gonna do, you know, a fast layout with the, with the lasers. We're actually gonna do two today. So I thought that one of these could go up at the top like this, just like you would use a regular border. The other one could go down at the bottom. Okay. And then these two pieces, I thought maybe I would just flip them over and I would just center them at the top and bottom here on each page. <clears throat> so I got lots and lots of decorative details now, super easy. And of course, we could use, instead of just using uh, the cardstock base, we could come along and take one of these fabulous papers. So maybe let's do that. This might lose a little bit, this one might be a little bit too busy. But maybe this one. This would be a fun base page. So I'll do one side with this and one side with the uh, solid. Or you could do a tonal, that would be nice too. What's the tonal one? There's green, so maybe we could do green. So just a little bit different, okay? So lots of details there, and then I can come along and think about you know how many spaces I have for photos. I could get six by four, four by four, another six by four, four by four. And then I can still get two more right on my cut pieces. So I've taken that one paper, I've stretched it across two pages. Let's change that up. I just, I'm looking at thinking it just doesn't show up as nicely. Let's find that other green paper. There it is. And I've got a layout done in no time. So again, even though I'm not using it just on its own, it's taking so much of the work out of, uh, you know, away from me. I don't have to, like the bag salad, I don't have to uh, go ahead and do all of the washing and all of the cutting. So this gives you the look of, you know, a lot of details with tools and things like that, but I don't have any worry. And so again, we've got so, so many different things that we could come in and add, right? We've got little die cuts. You could add those off to the side. If you wanted to, you could do some three by fours here and add one of these nice die cuts, right? So again, just play around with it, but just those three simple cuts and we've got a beautiful base for a double page layout. Okay, and again, you can flip these around as much as you want. So if you had vertical paper or vertical photos, you know, you could basically just go ahead, put your borders along the sides, and then you could put your four by six 
photos there. Okay, so you can really mix and match and use those borders and kind of photo mats to uh, arrange them however you need to to fit the photos that you're working with. Okay, so that's the first idea I have for using these layers is again not being afraid to cut apart one of them so that you've got that beautiful detail of the border and you can use it in a double page spread. You can really spread it out throughout your layout. Okay, so that's the first one. Let's talk, I'll pull up off my little photo spots here. I'd love to know if some of you went ahead and made these little DIY photo templates. They're such a fast and easy way to uh, figure out your layouts. So I really love them. Okay, let's take that away. And let's pull a different paper. I think I'm going to actually work with this one. It looks like our packaging inserts, but since I have a few photos of my first trip to home office, I think I want to use this. I could use a blue, for example, but I think I want to use that one. And then let me get out my two other, where did I put them? Oh, I put them over to the side here. Two other um, laser cuts, okay? So we've got this one that has the beautiful frames, and we've got this one that looks like a camera with the CM shutter in the center. And I'm pretty sure I want to use this one, but I want to show a couple of things really quickly. Now, as I mentioned, these are sort of like what we would call a cut file. They're meant to be backed with something. So they're either meant to be backed with some patterned paper, okay? You could cut out a square of patterned paper and fill that frame with it. Or they're meant to be filled with your photos. Okay, so here's one of the outside of the Creative Memories um, warehouse, the new warehouse. Or you can also fill them with your map cards. That's another great way to do this. So you could take one of your map cards, maybe put it in the center there, and then have a little bit of the paper that you want to fill in the rest of the space. So these are open lasers and they're meant to be backed with something. Now our designers do such an amazing job of matching up any of the circles to our custom cutting system. And I think we've had ovals in the past as well. So you can come along anywhere there's a circle bring your circle template from your custom cutting system and sort of lay it on top and see, oh, okay, if I wanted something that's exactly that size, I could use the inside of this circle with the red blade. But I wanna show you how to save even more time because you can go ahead and add things behind your laser cuts without having to cut them down into a circle first. So I'll just show you again with this one. So if I put it this one behind the square, I would add some repositionable adhesive along the back and then I would just place it down over top. Obviously if I place it down behind a circle, uh, it doesn't, you know, fit. But all you need to do instead of getting out your CCS and trimming it and then fitting it in, once you've added your repositionable adhesive, just take your scissors and trim off the excess. So don't feel you have to cut everything before you put it behind one of the laser cut uh, pages, okay? So hopefully that will save you some time. I could certainly do that. I could, you know, attach this here. Then I could go ahead and trim my photo into the circle and then adhere it inside the circle. But if you start with your laser cut, adhere things onto the back and then trim off the excess, you're gonna be able to do it so much more quickly. It's gonna be really fast and fun, okay? So I have four photos that I already kind of sized down my first trip to the Creative Memories Warehouse. Here we've got two very important gentlemen, Mark LaRude and Caleb Hayhoe. 
Here we have Sherry Reeland and Chris Rome and myself. We are the product development team. And then here's a shot. I shared all of these in the Virtual Crop Facebook group ahead of time. But here we are at an event called Ice Castles with Cindy and Lauren from the Dream Team, our CEO, Allison, and Caleb Hayhoe III, who is our legal counsel. So I've got all these pictures of the people that I work with, and I want to create a layout about that. So I'm going to go ahead and use this paper. Let's get this one out of the way now. It would fit with this because I've got four photos, but I really love the way that this is going to look. So again, I could, you know, kind of trace this around here and make sure it fits, but I'm going to take the easy way and I'm literally going to use my scissors and my repositionable adhesive. And again, I could use the orange side, but because this is all about CM, I want to have it as CM blue. Now, I should talk a little bit before I start gluing. I did go ahead and sort of figure out which ones I want to um, use where. Because we've got this sort of circle, I'm going to use this one here. I think I should be able to get, you know, at least most of the, of the people there. So that one's going to go there. I think this one can go here because uh, it's only covering up a bit of Sherry's and my pants. This one I purposefully cut down lower because part of the ceiling here is going to be covered up. So I knew that that would work, but I could still see uh, Mark and Caleb. And then same over here. I purposefully cut that down so that the creative memories would be up at the top. So you can see that those are going to fit really nicely. And all I'm really going to have to do is trim around the corners. But before I do that, I'm going to back my two circles with some paper. So I want your help in choosing a couple of the papers here. So we've got so many to choose from, it's kind of hard. I think the sayings might not work the best. I think I might have to stick with some, some tonal designs. So let's try, actually let's try the foil designs. I'm going to choose a couple and then I would love you to vote for which ones you want. I've got to fill two circles, the shutter and then the larger circle. So I'm kind of thinking that these two tonal patterns from the foiled papers, okay, I don't want the colors because I want this to all be kind of CM blue. So I'm going to use the back sides here. I'm kind of thinking if I do the light blue here and then the dark blue around, around the outside edge because then it's going to be backed with the light blue there. So tell me if you like that. That's choice number one. Okay, choice number one is the light blue and the dark blue. Let me see... I don't want the green. I'm looking for my other blue tones. Sorry. Let me know if you like that. There it is. This is the only other blue I have. So the easiest way would be to back those two circles with that single blue. So choice number one is the two blues. Choice number two is just one single blue behind there. So one or two. Give me the Give me your, your thoughts. Then we'll go ahead and we'll add that behind the circles and then we'll add in our photos and we'll see how long our little, uh, in our little page with the lasers takes. Okay, I'm seeing light blue, dark blue. Dark blue blends into the circle too much. The center of the shirt, shutter bug white. Choice one, choice one, choice one, choice one. I've got a few twos, but number one seems to be working the most. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I am literally not even going to cut out with my CCS yet. I'm going to do this all just with repositionable adhesive and scissors. So I'm going to just add lots of repositionable adhesive on the back of my shutter. And we're just going to place that over just a portion of the blue paper. And I'm going to try to get it up to the, the edge as much as possible so that I don't have as much cutting to do. 
And then the trick I find with this is that you're going to sort of angle your scissors. You're not going to cut, you know, straight across. You're going to kind of go in at a bit of an angle just in behind this. And I'm just making sure my blade stays behind the dark blue, um, the dark blue ring. Okay. And you can see how that is a super quick way to back a shape with the circle. And I didn't have to cut anything out first. Okay. So let's go ahead now and do the second one. And I'm not going to, oops, that one just didn't quite come off. You can see it's not perfect on the back, but nobody's going to see the back. So you don't have to worry about it. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cover the whole back of this with the blue. So I am going to use a little bit of extra paper. That's when you have to determine which is more valuable to you, your time or your paper. All right, and we'll just get that lined up again. There we go. And we'll go in again, just kind of slicing underneath and on an angle. I'm getting caught on the edge. My fingers are getting caught on the edge here. That's what's the biggest hold up. Once we go around, I can transfer my hand. Again, just keeping my scissors on the underside of that light blue. Light blue portion of the laser cut. Coming up to the edge there. And then the last little bit. So no CCS required. If you've got them handy and you're and you're happy to do them, then that's great. If you don't, just grab your scissors. Okay? So let's get our photos down now. And again, I'm just going to add my repositionable adhesive on the back side of the frames of the laser cut. Cut file, laser cut, whatever you want to think of it as. And I'm just going to Pop that down so that it's covering up or filling up, I should say, the entire space. Allison, if you're watching, sorry, your head's getting cut off just a bit there. And remember, any extra adhesive is going to basically just get, you know, used to help adhere it to the page. Okay. I forgot to start the timer, but we've only been at this for a couple of minutes here, the actual cutting and sizing. So it does go fast once you've made your decisions. And our last photo. Sometimes, you know, the figuring out your photos, cutting, printing your photos, trimming them down to the right size, that takes up a lot of time. So there we go. So I'm pretty much ready. I'm gonna go ahead and trim off the photos. Again, just sort of keeping my scissors on an angle and kind of going underneath, right? So you can see again, it's not perfect, but nobody's gonna see that backside. And as long as you've filled all the spaces, that's what's important. One more, and then I think we're pretty much done. There we go. So I think that is pretty fast. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add some regular tape runner adhesive on the back here. That's going to really help. I suppose I could use some of the, the light blue again there, but I'm going to leave it just as white. Now I could put it straight, but I think some of you have heard me talk about the fact that if you have it on a bit of an angle, it creates movement on your page. So there it is straight. 
Because these are on an angle on the sides, just you know, slightly angling your die cut, your laser cut. That's all you need to really make it sort of sing. All right, and then I was looking at some of these embellishments earlier. I think literally I'm going to, you know, do a couple of, I'm not sure if that's going to get tucked in there behind it. I did see this one and this one's perfect, but I didn't want to use the orange. Having fun for a living. Man, oh man, that is what we do. I was a CM advisor for 20 years. That was fantastic. And now I am just so thrilled to work for home office. So maybe that could be living our best life up there. You know, adding some foil in here. I've got some CM shutters. Again, that's going to be really, really cute. Just kind of anchoring there, repeating some of these circles. And that's really all we're going to need to have a great little layout. I could put that in the center. I could put that up there. I don't even really need it. And then I, I really like these little epoxies too. So maybe a couple of little epoxies to just kind of hint at other things, point to other things. So that's it. So that's a super quick way to use the lasers, uh, laser pages, laser, laser papers, and you can really get them done quickly. Now, again, if you wanted to, you can treat them more like a recipe template and go in and trace each one of these, then adhere your, your actual laser cut paper down to your base page and then adhere your cut piece inside. But if you're looking to get these done fast and fun, right? Think about ad adhering it at the back of the laser page before you glue it down. And then you just have to do your little, you'll get good at it. You just kind of have to angle your scissors. Okay. All right. So between, you know, cutting up our one paper and using this one, we would have been able to have two layouts done with our laser papers really, really quickly. So I love that. And I think that you guys are going to have a great time with these. Remember that they're reversible. So, you know, this one I wanted to use CM Blue to tell the story of my trip to home office. But, you know, I can use the green. I can use the yellow. I could have used the orange. So they're versatile. They're fast. They make it look like you've done a ton of work when you haven't. They are the bagged salad of scrapbooking. Okay. And we, as women have so much going on in our lives, we deserve to buy bagged salad. If we can afford it, we deserve to buy the bagged salad, make our life a little bit easier. <laughs> okay. I'm going to switch you back over here. There we go. And, uh, I hope that, you know, if you haven't considered using the laser pages before that maybe that's given you, um, you know, a little impetus. We typically do them at NSD and Croptoberfest, but there's a couple of other collections that have laser cut pages as part of the collection, notably Devotion, a very, very beautiful and intricate um, laser page. So if you are doing a wedding album or family tree or anything like that, make sure you go look at the Devotion laser pages. And then the other one that I've had the pleasure of working with is the Leave Nothing Behind. And again, so fast to get a beautiful page put together. Add your photos on the back, place the whole thing onto a base page, a couple of embellishments, you're done. Okay, so I encourage you to think about those laser papers, laser pages. Okay, so we've been talking for about 40 minutes. I'm hoping you can hang on for just about another five because I want to talk about Secret Box. Secret Box number one has been on sale just for a little while here. And I do want to share a little bit about it because we are treating Secret Boxes a little bit differently. In the past, You've purchased the secret box. There's been a little bit of a box opening and then people share different ways for them to, you know, that they have used the contents. What we've decided is that we're going to treat secret boxes like a project box, like a class in a box. 
So over the course of the weekend, after we open the box together, and I'll be doing a live unboxing on Friday, February 10th at 4.45 p.m. CT in the Facebook um, virtual crop Facebook group. So if you're watching right now on YouTube, this is what I mean. You're going to want to make sure you get over and join the virtual crop Facebook group because that's where it's all going to be happening. Okay. We're going to do a live unboxing and then I'm going to do a tutorial, uh, basically using the products in the secret box, uh, to create layout number one of the virtual crop sketches. So just like in January, remember we had gave you four sketches. So I'm going to make layout number one with you live in the virtual crop Facebook group for everybody. But if you purchased your secret box, there's a really fun little card in it. And I, I won't say much more about that, but there's a QR code on a card in your box. And that QR code is going to link to an exclusive video where all four of the layouts will be uh, shown, plus a bonus project. And not only that, not only will you have the video of the whole class, but you're also going to get access to a complete project booklet download. So that I know is worth it right there. People love getting the cutting guides, the instructions. It's sort of like a project recipe blown up on steroids, right? It's going to give you the cutting guide for all of your papers. You're going to be able to make all four layouts with very little left over, but we are going to also make a bonus project that only, only for the eyes of the people who purchased the secret box. So if you haven't already got your secret box, you will want to think about that. The other thing that's different is from now, well, from launch day until noon on February 10th, noon CT time, you're, you can purchase the secret box. And in the past, what's happened then is, you know, it's just, it's not for sale anymore. We're going to keep it on sale, but we're actually going to, uh, the price will actually increase because those of you who have purchased a secret box know that you actually get some little freebies in it. So the, the price will increase at noon on February 10th. Now, so that's, that's good and bad, right? The, the bad thing is, is that, you know, it's going to be the regular price. It's going to be the full value of the contents of the box. But the good thing is, is that if you are on the fence about secret box, at least you have a chance to see what's in the box first, and then you can still purchase it for another couple of days until Thursday the 14th. So a few different things this year about Secret Box. It's going to be a class in a box, some exclusive projects, a video, and a handout. It's going to be available throughout the Virtual Crop Weekend, but at the regular price. So if you think about it right now, it's on sale. And then it will be regular price as of February 10th. So knowing all of that, I would highly recommend that you grab your Secret Box at the, you know, the, the reduced price, at the sale price uh, before February 10th so that we can open it together. I think it's really, really good. I really, really like everything that's in there. Yeah, I really think you're going to want it. I do. I really like this one. And then we'll have lots of fun together um, doing one of the layouts together and then seeing everybody else's layouts throughout the weekend. So I think it's going to be great if you are an advisor gather your people and make it uh, you know, an evening of creating. All of the work is going to be done for you. They're going to be able to download their um, handouts. You'll be able to put the video up and everybody can create together. If you are not an advisor, and of course you should be because it's a fantastic sisterhood, but if you're not an advisor, get a few friends together and tune in watch the, op the box opening with me, and then spend a couple of hours creating your projects based on the video and all of the, you know, the downloadable handout that you're going to get. So it's going to be so much fun. I think, and I, I really hope you're going to love uh, our changes that we've made to the secret box this year. I really think you will though. Okay. All right. I know that there's been a lot of things that have, uh, a lot of comments that have gone while I've been chatting. 
once I hop off here in a minute, I will go back and see if there's any questions and I will answer those. But definitely remember that you're going to be able to get so much more out of your secret boxes this year because there's projects associated with it. Okay, I'm just scanning my little, um, my little notes here. I think that's it. You know, I wanted to talk about it. I don't want you to miss it. And I, I've seen people have creative memories regret. It's real. You know, they see it after the fact and they say, oh, I should have got it. But sometimes we, you know, we have to see it before we buy it. So this way you're going to have that chance, but it will be the regular value of all of the products in the box. So just know that. Okay, so next week, next week, February 8th, we're coming up to Valentine's Day here, and we thought it would be a fun thing to kind of uh, channel our inner Cupid just a little bit and make some fun Valentine's cards. So we are going to talk about cards in general. I know that many of you are familiar with Creative Memories card kits, but I want to explain a few things to those of you who might not know about them and why they're so great and why you should get all of them because they're just awesome. And then we're going to have fun with our two Valentine or love or heart themed punches that we've got this one's called love no this one's called full of love this one's called love letters full of love has been in the regular line for a little while love letters was previously only available as an exclusive it was a, a gift with an a, exclusive bundle so we did have some extras we've opened them up for sale you're definitely going to want to grab this one so we're going to use these two punches and then I want you to go do some stash diving. I want you to see what you've got in pinks and reds, purples if you love purple, greens and blues if you're going to make a Valentine card for a, uh, uh, someone, you know, a, a fellow, a guy, hubby, significant other, sons, daughters, aunt, you know, uncles, whatever. Think about who you want to make a Valentine's Day card for. Do a little bit of stash diving and pull some of your favorite papers and coordinating cardstock. And then join me next week and we'll talk all things cards and make some punchy Valentine's Day cards. Okay? I hope you have a great week. Can't wait to see you next week. Oh, one more thing really quick. If you loved the laser cut pages, don't forget that the Scrap Happy 2 Buy It All Bundle is only available, where did I put it? I wrote it down. Double check the website. It's only available, I think till February 10th it might be, um, to get 10% off the cost of your buy it all bundle. So again, if you want it all, you might as well get it when it's on sale, okay? It goes up to regular price after that. So double check the website for the buy it all bundle details and grab that while you can. Order your love letters punch if you haven't already and make sure to order your secret box too. Okay? Awesome. Had lots of fun today with you guys. I'm going to go back and look at comments and questions now, but I will see you again next Wednesday. Have an awesome week. Take care and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.